why is my dog eating poop and how do I stop them from eating poop? Okay, so this is a pretty gross topic, but very common. So I fully expect you to be searching <laughs> for why your dog is eating poop, but more importantly, how to stop them from eating poop because it's gross. It's just gross. So let's get right into this video. Guys, my name is Jessica. I'm the Furry Family Coach. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel or if you are returning, thank you so much for being here. I am a pet parent coach and a positive reinforcement dog trainer. This channel is all about positive reinforcement, dog training, dog behavior, dog nutrition, and canine enrichment. If any of that is up your alley, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And once you hit the subscribe button, click the bell and select all notifications. That way, YouTube can notify you anytime I post a new video. All right, so really quickly, go ahead and post in the comments below. Let me know if you're having this problem. If uh, you're having this problem with your dog eating maybe their own poop or another dog's poop or even cat poop, whatever reason you're here, let me know. Put it in the comments below. We're going to talk about some of the reasons we think dogs may be doing this kind of nasty behavior and some of the ways you can stop it from happening in your dog. First thing to know is that you are not alone. Your dog is not the only one doing this. This is actually very common. And the scientific word for dogs eating poop is coprophagia. There are lots of different theories as to why dogs do this, but no one actually knows exactly why. And it may be different for different dogs. There may be different reasons for them eating poop, whether it is their own poop, another dog's poop, or cat poop, or any other animal poop for that matter. Um, it could, there, there are many different reasons, many different theories, and I'll tell you at the end which one I feel is the most common reason. The first reason that could be causing your dog to eat poop is scolding. So if you are familiar with me at all, I only use positive reinforcement training and there are lots of different reasons for this. But when it pertains to potty training, what happens is if you are scolding or rubbing a dog's nose in it, please don't ever do any of these things. But if you have ever done this, then what happens is your dog relates that action, what you have just done with you not liking their elimination. So what happens is that dogs will try to clean up after themselves. Um, so with, with urine, they tend to try to hide it better and go in places that they feel like you don't frequent. So they'll try to hide it a little bit better. But with poop, they will actually try to clean up after themselves because they feel like you don't like their elimination. And this could be one of the reasons that your dog may be eating poop. Now, if you have never scolded your dog, if you have never done this with your dog, then chances are this isn't the reason, but this actually is pretty common. Um, and hopefully we can get people to stop doing this because it is very counterproductive and doesn't work. So stop doing this. And if you know somebody that does this, tell them to stop doing it too. The second reason is that mother dogs will often clean up after their young pups. So any type of elimination that they may have, especially during that phase when she's nursing, they will, a mother dog will just instinctively clean it up because she wants to keep the den nice and clean and tidy. So this could be an association back to that behavior. The third reason is that your dog may be suffering from some sort of vitamin or mineral deficiency. And when they are suffering from some sort of vitamin or mineral deficiency, they are seeking sources of that vitamin or mineral anywhere they can find it. The fourth reason is that they may find some nutritional benefit from eating some sort of poop, whether that is their own or whether that is another animals like rabbit or horse or anything like that, they, they could see some nutritional benefit, which is very similar to um, the third one. Now, if your dog does all of a sudden start this behavior, absolutely 100% a vet checkup is recommended. Let them know what is going on, what's happening, so that you can discuss nutritional options. 
Obviously, if you have followed me for any length of time, you know that I recommend finding a holistic or integrative veterinarian who can help you and your pet see the bigger picture beyond big pet food because, because oftentimes we do find nutritional deficiencies with a lot of the big name brands simply, even, even if it's just because they're eating rancid fats. Number five, the protein content in their diet may be too high, which means if they're eating their own poop, especially, that there is nutritional value in their poop because the protein content is too high. Number six, it could be out of boredom. If they have absolutely nothing to do and maybe they're just wandering around the yard with nothing to do, no enrichment, um, nothing going on, nobody to play with, no other dogs around, no people around, they're just bored out of their mind, they may start playing with and eating any poop that may be around. Number seven, the protein content of their diet may be too low and they are looking for other sources of protein to supplement. Of course, this will only make sense if they're eating other dogs poop or cat poop or some other animals poop and not their own. And number eight, as horrible as it may sound, some dogs may actually think that it's tasty. So what is the solution if your dog is eating their own poop or eating other animals poop? First and foremost, absolutely get your animal checked out by your veterinarian. Of course, I do recommend seeking out a holistic veterinarian or an integrative ver veterinarian who can help you with this and anything else your pet may need. Your dog will most likely need to be checked for worms and your vet should also cover what you're currently feeding your dog to see if something's too high or if something is too low. More often than not, I do find that it is a nutritional issue unless you just know that your dog is bored or you just know that you have scolded your dog and that they are trying to hide their elimination from you. More often than not, I find that it is a nutritional issue. So what can you do first off is to feed your dog a species specific biologically appropriate diet. And I've talked about this in so many videos. I can link some down below. The number one food I recommend is Answers Pet Food. I will also put a link below in the description where you can search and find Answers Pet Food local to you. But if this has turned into a behavioral issue for your dog, maybe it has been going on for some time, one of the first things you're going to want to do is change that habit in your dog after you change their diet, of course. No matter what is or isn't going on with your dog, medically, it's not going to hurt to provide them a better diet. And you definitely want to discuss any diet changes with your veterinarian. However, again, I do have highly recommend that you seek out a holistic or integrated veterinarian who can actually help you with a transition to a raw diet or a fresh food diet, even if it's just a home, even if it's a home cooked diet, um, something that is going to be better than kibble. So create a new habit for your dog. How do you do this? When you take your dog outside to go potty, keep them on a leash. When they eliminate, instead of letting them stay and linger in that area, call them back over to you. Really get excited, play, give them a treat, let them come to you and be excited change up what their routine is after they eliminate. So, okay, they've gone poop. Maybe their first reaction at this point is to turn around and start eating it. Instead of doing that, really get excited and throw a party and have them come over to you and play and give them a lot of praise and attention. And maybe you have a, their favorite toy uh, with you when you're on your walk. Maybe you have some really yummy treats that you know they love and just change up that habit for them. Don't let them linger around that area where they just eliminated. There are also some food additives that you can add to their diet, which may make their poop less tasty and that they wouldn't want to eat it. However, this is not something I typically recommend. I did want to address it though, because I don't generally recommend it. First and foremost, make sure they are getting the best diet that you can possibly afford to feed them and go ahead and work on changing that habit for them. Those are gonna be the two top things, the two best things you can do for you and your dog. Now, if your dog is eating another animal's poop, what can you do? First of all, work on a good, loose leash walk. That way your dog isn't 
however many feet in front of you, getting to things before you even see them. You want them next to you, ideally on a walk. That way you can survey and see what things are going on before your dog actually gets to them. Work on a leave it and work on a trade because you're gonna wanna have both of these in your back pocket at any given time, especially if you get some, you find yourself in a position where your dog has found something so wonderful to them, they are not responding to your leave it. In some certain scenarios, you're gonna wanna have a trade cue and you're gonna wanna have something on you that is really highly valuable to your dog so that it is worth trading for whatever your dog may have picked up. And of course, repetition is, going to be your best friend here. You want to work on these consistently. You're going to want to work on these things over and over and over again. Make sure your dog is getting the best diet you can afford to feed them. Make sure you are in contact with your veterinarian so that you know that they are healthy, that there isn't any some medical issue going on that has caused this sudden change in your dog's behavior. And work on the leave it cue, work on the trade cue, work on changing the habit and loose leash walking so that you can be in the mix and see what your dog sees, bef hopefully before they see it, and you can intervene before your dog even grabs something and maybe turn around, go another way, distract them with a toy or a treat so that they never have a chance to pick it up in the first place. So that is what we do for a dog who is eating poop. If you have any questions about this video or maybe something else, go ahead and post in the comments below. Let me know how this video helps you and your dog. I really, really wanna know how it helps. Don't forget to join the group. There is a link in the description and grab your copy of my book, The Seven Miracle Steps to Get Your Dog to Obey Commands. I also put a link to that in the description below. Thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. And I really do wanna hear from you. Make sure you post in the comments below. Go ahead, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for being here and for watching with me and I will see you in our next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.